All right. Uh, there may be folks filtering in after I start talking, so I'll put everything I'm saying into the chat as well. Welcome to the Brooklyn Technical High School Virtual College Fair. So important that you are here to hear from six amazing institutions, really experts. Uh, if you would like to ask any of these panelists a question at any time, please use the Q&A button that's either at the top or bottom of your screen. Uh, that is the only way you'll be able to get a direct answer during this 45 minute session. So that Q&A button at the top or bottom of your screen is the best way for you to get an answer during this 45 minute session because your camera and microphone are off. They cannot see or hear you. Uh, this is the last evening for this particular fair, but there'll be more in the future. You'll be able to get a copy of this, everything in the chat, everything in the Q&A at strivescan.com forward slash Brooklyn Tech. Piece of advice, please pay attention to that chat. Our panelists are gonna be putting very pertinent information in there, which is their contact information. Uh, with that, we are going to be mindful of time and I will kick it off to Colorado College. All right, hi everyone and welcome. My name is Jenna Holt. I am um, filling in for my colleague, Maddie Ross, who is the New York representative. So I will put her information in the chat. Uh, I'm going to get started with just where we're located. We're in beautiful, sunny Colorado Springs. We get 300 days of sunshine a year. Uh, we're located just 15 minute walk from downtown. So always a pleasure to get off campus and go do something fun in the Colorado Springs area. Colorado Springs is a very large city, 700,000 student um, people. And then here on campus, we have 2,200 students. And you can see a little bit of our campus right here. That's Tut Library. It was the first carbon neutral library in North America. We we're actually one of the top, the first nation um, colleges in the nation to become carbon neutral. So I think we're the eighth. And so we're very proud of that. And we're also, in case you're ever wanting to leave and go up to Denver, Denver, we're just an hour and a half away. So let's get into what makes CC special and why you should choose us over all these other wonderful colleges here. Uh, so we have very, um, you know, pretty low student to faculty ratio. So you really get that one on one attention. You will never have a TA. You will always be taught by a professor and not only a professor, but actually 94% uh, of our professors have the terminal degree, which means that they have MD, JD, PhD, whatever that might be for their department. So you're being taught in very small classes. Uh, it's not a competitive atmosphere. Sphere, it's going to be collaborative and you're being taught by people who are really knowledgeable in their field. At CC, we have over 80 majors and minors. Our top four are environmental science, poli sci, biology, and um, economics, right? And so we have um, some really great options to choose. One third of our students go into STEM uh, programs. And if you're interested in doing a pre-professional program, we have those available. So if you wanted to do pre-med or pre-law, and we have some really great statistics, over 90% of students get into their med school of their choice. And then, of course, you would be required to do some general education requirements, uh, but you can definitely learn more about those as you go through the process. What we're most known for is the block plan, and this is what I really want to dive into today. So instead of taking your four classes per semester, you know, maybe two or three of them every day, at, um, at CC you do one class a day. Um, one class for three and a half weeks for three hours a day, usually um, 9 a.m. to noon, but that can depend on the on the class and the subject. And from Monday to Friday, no class on the weekends, Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, Monday to Wednesday. That fourth Wednesday, when your class is done, you're out, you are done, no academic requirements for the next four and a half days. That's what we call these block breaks. And you can see those in between every single class. So those are your time to just relax and, and go do outdoor education adventures if you so choose, take advantage of our lovely location and go skiing or hiking, or you can stay on campus and nap and rest, or you can do you know binge Netflix, whatever you wanna do. But the idea is that you really study very intensely. You're immersed in that subject. You're not having to worry about your English paper or your, your um, chem lab that's coming up because you've only got one class to focus on. And the other beautiful thing about the block plan is the flexibility it allows you. Maybe you wanna go off campus. Maybe you wanna to go to Russia your first year at CC. At CC, you can study abroad for a block, a, two blocks, a semester or a year. So it's a really magical experience. 70% of our students will study abroad. 
and we also have field study. So if it makes more um, if it makes more sense for your Asian American studies class, for example, to to be somewhere off campus and learning about that subject, then that's what you're going to do, right? So at CC, we're not confined to the four walls of a typical classroom. Moving on to talk a little bit about the admission process. So we have the Common App, QuestBridge, or Coalition app, and we are holistically reviewing all of these applications. So know that everything you submit is equally important. And we've been test optional since 2019, and we will continue to be so for the future. And so just keep that in mind as you're applying. We have one supplemental essay, it's the YCC essay. We just really want to get to the heart of what you would bring and contribute to CC and what, we'll, what, what you're excited about seeing at CC. And then we hope you stay in as, as involved as you can with extracurriculars and clubs and sports. And we have two letters of recommendation that we require and an optional interview. Here's a couple stats from the last year. And my uh, just biggest piece of advice is to apply early. Early action at CC is gonna be non-binding. And so that would be your best option if we're your second, third or sixth 100th choice, whatever, as long as you're applying. And if we are your first choice, you should go early decision. As you can see on there, we have two early decision options. And you also get a little bit of our stats on testing. As I said earlier, we're, we've been test optional for a while now, almost 30% did not submit testing. Last but not least, I want to leave you with just a little bit of information about our financial aid. And so know that we try to make CC affordable for every family. You can see a little bit of, um, you know, estimated costs based on what your family income might be. And if you do get a financial aid package from us, it's going to include a combination of grants, which is the majority of your package. That's money you don't have to pay back. Loans, just a small amount, and then a little bit and a little bit of work study. And so we make, um, you know, CC very affordable, 100% of your family's eligibility is going to be met. So we're one of about 66 schools in the US that does that. If you have any more questions, I will put myself, my information and Maddie's information in the chat. And thank you so much. All right, thank you. And next up we have Vaughn College of Aeronautics and Technology. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Genesis. I am the assistant director here at Wong College. Uh, just a little background about Wong College. Wong College was founded in 1932 uh, with degrees in aviation. Uh, throughout the years, we have grown gradually, now, be, now being known for our top engineering programs, uh, technology management, and of course, aviation. Uh, Wong College is located in the city of New York, uh, in Queens, across from LaGuardia Airport. Um, we are very diverse. We're in a very diverse area. We're a private nonprofit institution providing small class settings, uh, 14 to one ratio. Uh, students are able to develop better relationships and, with their professors and peers and grow academically. Uh, we have been ranked uh, number one in upward mobility, uh, listed best college in Money Magazine and ranked top regional in the North for many years. Um, we offer engineering majors, which is actually uh, very high in demand. Uh, technology is so advanced um, that throughout the years, we have been able to expand our majors. Um, the world relies highly on high tech. Uh, so we offer mechanical, electronic, um, and mechanical, mechatronic engineering. Um, students who don't have the requirements, do not meet the requirements for an associate's degree are able to, um, sorry, if they don't, they're not eligible for the master's degree, they can apply for the associates and later on transfer. Uh, Megatronic is actually one of our most popular majors. Um, we are actually one out of three colleges to offer it and it's basically a combination of electrical, mechanical and computer engineering. Um, aviation has actually become a leader in the airport industry where the shortage of pilots reported. Uh, there's an expected rise of jobs and demand. Uh, we have an aircraft operations major, which includes flight training uh, for students who want to become pilots. Um, our program is part 141 uh, certified um, and students are able to obtain up to seven licenses throughout the program. Um, 
We also have our airframe and, and power plant technology program uh, degree for students who are looking to become aircraft technicians and obtain their certifications along with an associate's degree, which can be completed in as little as 16 months. Uh, we don't have it listed, but we do offer air traffic control. Um, it's a very popular major because it earns a six-figure outcome, and it's actually included in one of our six, five majors. We offer management degrees uh, for students who want to um, further their education or are looking to do go into the field of business. Uh, these are all the clubs and activities that we are part of. Uh, Vaughn currently supports about 20 active clubs and organizations to encourage social um, interaction and to unite students with similar interests. Uh, Vaughn is a Division three school. We participate in the Hudson Valley Intercollegiate Division. Um, students who are interested would just reach out to athletic departments for tryouts. We offer free tutoring. Um, sorry, we offer free tutoring, resume building for your preparedness, job placement, among other programs that can actually also help with tuition. Sorry, this is our residence uh, hall. Uh, we have over 200 beds. Uh, each resident has access to a semi-private uh, full bathroom with their suite. Additionally, the three level building is equipped with a full kitchen. Um, it has a, a television lounge on the lobby area, uh, multi-purpose room on the second floor, fitness on the third floor and two laundry rooms on the second and third floors. Uh, we've had successful job placement rates. So we have, we've had 99% uh, of grads employed or continue their education within one year. 83% uh, of our grads are actually employed in their field or continue their education within one year. Uh, which actually brings me to this conclusion. Uh, we will reimburse for one year of federal student loans uh, or give you the opportunity to enroll in a master's program without incurring any charges um, if you are unable to find employment within one year uh, after graduating. Uh, thank you. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, or YouTube. I will put my email in the chat for those students who may have any questions. Again, thank you and good luck and best wishes to everyone. All right, thank you. Next up, we have Adelphi University. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, so my name is Michael Cartusiello. I'm an Associate Director of Admissions at Adelphi. Uh, we have seven, wait, is it 17? Seven people. And uh, I'm just gonna ask that everyone mutes themselves quickly. Um, thank you so much. Uh, so Michael Cartusiello, I'm an Associate Director of Admissions at Adelphi University. Uh, I'm really excited to be here talking with you all on night three of your college fair. Uh, we are a medium-sized university located in Garden City, Long Island, just outside of Queens, New York. Uh, we are honestly a 40-minute train ride right from Atlantic Terminal, hop right on the Long Island Railroad, and you'll be on campus, our beautiful suburban campus. So we do have kind of, even though we're medium-sized, there's a bit of a small school feel in the way we have our class sizes. We have a genuine average class size of 21 students. That's it. So you're not going to find yourself in a large lecture hall at Adelphi. You're not going to be one of 300, 400, 500 people. Uh, the largest class you'll find here is genuinely 50 students. So we really emphasize that 10 to one student faculty ratio. You're gonna to get to know your professors. They'll know more than just your name. You can make really valuable long lasting connections with faculty here, as well as your colleagues, your, your peers, your other students. Uh, a lot of group group work is involved and really discussion-based classes. At the same time, there's a bit of a bigger school feel than just our medium-sized institution because we do have over 80 active clubs and organizations and two out of every three of our students are involved in some form of activity on campus. Uh, so there's gonna be plenty of people to get to know, but at the same time, most people will know your name. Uh, we do have students from all over the country, all over the world, 
And at the end of the day, there are lots of reasons to go to college, but one of the major ones you want to go for is likely to advance your career or advance your education. So 95% of our graduates are either working or pursuing a graduate degree within six months of graduation. So we have over 50 different academic majors you can choose from and everything from, you know, hard sciences like biology, chemistry, the math, computer science, criminal justice and sociology, uh, philosophy and performing and visual arts. All of those you can find in our College of Arts and Sciences. We also have a College of Education and Health Sciences. So yes, our education program, but also pre-physical therapy and our exercise science program. Uh, we have our College of Nursing and Public Health, which has our nursing major, which is absolutely one of our most popular majors and a real highlight at Adelphi. It's a direct admit program, which means we don't make you take a test midway through. If you're accepted as a nursing major, as a first year student, you are guaranteed a spot all four years at Adelphi. Uh, we also have a whole school of psychology, a whole school of social work, and then a neuroscience program. So lots of opportunities to explore that whole field. And of course, a whole school of business, another really popular area for us. Uh, I like to say that Adelphi is undecided friendly or really emphasizes students who have a variety of interests. It's really easy to change your major, to double major, or to do a major minor combination. Most students are doing a major and minor combo. Uh, additionally, we have some signature programs. Our honors college is for that high achieving student and someone who really enjoys kind of Western philosophy and discussion-based classes. Uh, our Levermore Global Scholars Program is for students who are passionate about social justice and global awareness, and it really prepares you to become a global leader. Uh, additionally, maybe you are focused and know exactly what you want to study, so you might be interested in one of our four plus one programs. This allows you to get a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, typically a total of six years in only five. So we have that for computer science, for mathematics, for education, for nursing, for psychology, for social work, and business as well. We're also really well known for our support programs, and our student access office is fantastic. Any student who receives accommodations, you can get those again in college through our student access office included in the cost of tuition. So love to point out some of the prestigious universities we partner with as well. All of these universities, uh, we have places waiting for Adelphi students uh, in their professional degree programs, but there's also tracks that accompany them. So maybe you do want to become a dentist, but you don't want to go to NYU dentistry, you can still do a pre-dentistry track and then continue on and apply to the dental school of your choice. So a few things quickly that make Adelphi unique. You can see a photo of our trading room as well as our hands-on nursing simulation lab. So like I mentioned, a lot of hands-on interactive education here. You really get that opportunity to explore your field. Of course, a picture from orientation so you can really see the school spirit uh, and then highlighting really our proximity to New York City the fact that you can have this typical suburban college experience also while being able to gain internship experience in New York City or take advantage of the culture, which is something we really like our students to do by uh, we offer discount tickets to Broadway shows, museums, concerts, and sports games as well. Also want to highlight that we recently renovated our university center, definitely emphasizing a commitment on student involvement at Adelphi. This is where our students spend the majority of their social time. So you can see our brand new outdoor amphitheater, a beautiful state of the art food court, and my personal favorite, the fully franchised Starbucks. So hopefully you do want to apply to Adelphi this fall. We will need a completed application. We accept the Common App or the Adelphi application with your college essay. We will need, of course, your high school transcript, and we're looking at a cumulative GPA through your freshman, sophomore, and junior year. We're officially test optional, so you're welcome to submit SAT or ACT scores, but you no longer have to. Uh, and we only need one letter of recommendation, but you're welcome to send more. We'll certainly read them. Um, we are rolling admissions, but we also have an early action deadline. So if you apply early action, which means before December 1st, you will be guaranteed a decision by January 1st. But since we're also rolling admission, if, say, you apply by January 1st, we guarantee you a decision within four weeks. So that would be by February 1st. Um, of course, you, as is coming up now for your senior friends, uh, May 1st is that big deadline when you have to decide. And so we wanna make sure you get all of that information early so you can make a great decision. With that, you're automatically considered for academic merit scholarship. 
Uh, this is really fantastic. You don't have to do anything extra. And we are a private school. So yes, tuition can seem a lot higher, especially when you're comparing us to a public school. But we do have a wide variety of academic merit scholarships available. So tuition this year will be just about $42,000 a year. But our scholarships actually range from 10 all the way to $30,000 a year. Additionally, I love pointing out that 94% of our full-time undergraduates are receiving some form of financial aid. That's usually a combination of scholarships and need-based aid. So definitely make sure you fill out the FAFSA come October 1st this year. And that's actually it for me. Please stay in touch. Follow us on Instagram. I supervise our interns and they do really, really such a great job at highlighting authentic student life at Adelphi on our Instagram. And I'll be here in the chat to answer any questions. All right, thank you. Next up, we have College of Staten Island. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Shebi Ibrahim. I'm an admissions advisor at the College of Staten Island. Today, I'm joined with my colleague, Andre Pakamenko, who will be working with Chad. This is an overview of our 204 acre campus. It's about a mile long from end to end. CSI offers degrees ranging from associate to doctoral programs. We have about 13,000 students enrolled in our campus on any day. We are, our tuition rate is affordable, less than 7,000 a year. This is a graph showing our affordability compared to private and SUNY schools. To help lower the cost of your tuition, you are qualified to um, for external scholarship, like the Excelsior Scholarship, which is for New York State residents who attend either SUNY or CUNY College. The income is less than 125,000. For your first semester, you, you are enrolled with 12 credits and you must complete 30 credits by the end of the first year. In addition to that, we offer our own CSI scholarship program. Generally speaking, incoming students need to have a 90 GPA and to continue that, complete 12 credits with a GPA of a 3.25. Applying to CSI is relatively stress-free. Our application can be found on the CUNY website. On the CUNY application, you can list up to six CUNY, CUNY schools, CSI being one of them, of course, paying one flat rate of $65. If you are a student attending a private high school, please make sure to send us your transcript. If you're a New York City DOE student, please provide us your OSIS number. Essays and recommendation letters are only required if you're attending, if you're gonna to apply to our honors programs. We offer three honors programs from you to choose from. You can apply to all three if you like. And please make sure you file your FAFSA form. CSI offers two opportunities programs, a uh, SEEK and ASAP. SEEK is an opportunities program based on your financial um, need. So based on how you fill out your FAFSA form will determine your eligibility for it versus ASAP is not based on that. Both of them require you to be a New York City resident. For ASAP, it's even though the title is accelerated, we're gonna help you um, fast track your degree and get you into a baccalaureate degree and complete it as soon as four years. With our ASAP program, our students also are eligible as a current CSI student to attend to apply to one of our honors programs. As mentioned earlier, we offer three honors programs. Macaulay's Fair Designer Teachers Education Honors Academy, or TAHA for short. Macaulay, student, Macaulay Honors Program is a CUNY Honors Program. So when you fill out your CUNY application, just indicate you're interested in Macaulay, and then you will follow the Macaulay application process. For Macaulay Honors, you're going to list two um, senior colleges. If you want CSI, please list us, list us as number one, so we'll look at you first. Verizon and Teachers Education Academy, their application, supplementary application is located on our website. For TEHA, it's for, particularly for students who are interested in teaching math or sciences. Mrs. McCauley and Verizon does not have that major requirement. To be eligible for a baccalaureate program, you need to have an 88.4 GPA. We have the School of Business, which is an accredited program. We offer degrees in accounting and in business with various concentrations. The school also offers their own Con Ed trading room. This allows students to access to data fees like the prices of the stock that comes straight from the Wall Street floor into our terminal, as well as working on financial analytical software like the Bloomberg Terminal program. 
a psychology program offers you the option of uh, getting, uh, uh, getting either a bachelor's in science or arts in psychology. You also have the option of getting a master's degree with us in clinical mental health counseling or neuroscience and developmental disabilities. Our education school offers three tracks, early childhood, childhood, and adolescent education. You also get a master's with us. Performing arts, creative and performing arts offers degrees in art, photography, music, and drama. Our nursing program is an accredited ranked 10th in the state, and we have a nursing simulation mannequins to provide you hands-on experience. Social work program is ranked 20th in the nation. We offer degrees in both bachelor's and master's. CSI is a research and STEM powerhouse. Our students get to work in our lab, animal lab facility, met a man's imaging facility, and we also have a supercomputer. You have to start working with a faculty member on your research as early as your first year of college. Engineering program has a accelerated four plus one program. So you get your, not only your bachelor's, but also your master's in electrical engineering. We also offer engineering science, both of which are accredited. Biology department offers degrees ranging from bi Bachelor's to PhD, we have an accelerated four plus one, and two affiliations, one with the University of Buffalo for Pharmacy and SUNY College of Optometry. We all we give you a medical laboratory science program as well. Our program also has a, a committee member that helps you with, with getting into med school, many other health professional programs. The computer science program, information systems and informatics is an accredited program. Also another accelerated option we have. In 2019, we won the first place in the hackathon. We are D2 school, so we offer scholarships for sports. Our housing is fully furnished apartment style housing. And to attend, once you're enrolled in CSI, it's a four step process. Claim your account, your CUNY account, commit to us, provide us your commitment deposit, approve for immunization, complete the CSI advisement registration, and attend a one day new student orientation. And our dolphin is the mascot. That's CSI in under six minutes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, next up, we have uh, DePaul University. <laughs> Hi, sorry about that. Hi, I'm Bree Fahey. I am an admission counselor here at DePaul. Um, Y'all can see my presentation, right? Um, I'm filling in for Amanda, who is the counselor for New York, um, but I can, I'm well equipped to tell you all about DePaul. So DePaul is a private Catholic institution in the heart of Chicago, Illinois. It's an urban campus with an undergraduate population of about uh, 14,500 students. Um, while we have a big school resources and we're located in the third largest U.S. city, your academic experience at DePaul will be very personal by design. Our average class size is around 22 and 90% uh, of our classes have fewer than 40 students. Also, our um, uh, faculty to student ratio is low as well. Our student body is super diverse and reflects the diversity of our global community. 40% of our students are out of state. 44% of our freshmen are students of color and 35% of our freshmen are first generation students. Um, while we are a Catholic institution, DePaul is a Catholic university, the DePaul experiences, it's experience is only as Catholic as you make it. Uh, we have students from over 40 different faith and non-faith backgrounds on campus. And uh, so, so we're named for St. Vincent de Paul, who dedicated his life to ending cycles of poverty and social injustice, and was all about diversity and respecting the individuality and dignity of each person. We prepare all of our students to think and act with others in mind using higher education as a means to engage cultural, social, religious, and ethical values in service to others. So. Community service is a big part of what we do. DePaul students split their time between two campuses. It's a dual campus system in the city of Chicago. Our Lincoln Park campus, which is an urban neighborhood campus, has a traditional feel with a quad and residence halls, um, a student center and a big library. It's where you're gonna see students going to class in like a DePaul hoodie. 
a 15 minute ride away on public transportation, which you get an all access pass for, is our campus in Chicago's financial district, also called the Loop Campus, also called downtown. Here students take elevators to class instead of walking across the quad and you'd be more likely to see a student going to class in a blazer, if, like if they're coming from an internship or job shadowing or informational interview or something like that. Almost all of our students will take classes on both campuses. All right. We have a lot of academic options. Our students pick from over 300 academic programs and we have uh, some, some of our most popular programs are housed in the College of Business and in our conservatory style programs in theater and music. Um, our science and health focused degrees are strong and we have accelerated options for students interested in medical related professions. And then the College of Computing and Digital Media is our fastest growing school and is home to film and television, animation and game design. We have uh, several honors options at DePaul that go across all the, the college offices. Um, we have combined degrees. We have three plus three BA JD if you wanna be a lawyer. We have uh, three plus four, three plus three medical school options. And we have tons of other combined degrees all around, all along our, our schools. Um, if you could mute yourself, that'd be great. If you are undecided or like, uh, or like a lot of different things, there's no worries. We're double major and minor friendly. Students sometimes accidentally pick up a minor or a double major, and we embrace change. As long as you're in good academic standing, you can really change your major at any time. Um, so lots of opportunities academically. Also lots of opportunities to do things on campus. Our students are incredibly involved on campus and we have over 400 clubs and organizations. We have uh, NCAA Division I Blue Demon basketball teams. We have uh, club and intramural sports as well. Uh, you can participate in outdoor adventure programs. We have political, religious, and academically focused clubs. We do have Greek life on campus, fraternity and sororities as well. In one afternoon, you can attend theater and music productions on campus and then go sample the local fair with the pizza club. So lots of stuff to do and lots of ways to get involved. To help our students get used to the city, all freshmen take a seminar in their first quarter called the Chicago Quarter Class, where they go on site visits and explore the city using one of over 100 different topics as a lens. So like, for example, you could take a class about the Cubs or crime and politics or improv in the city or art and public sculpture. And in those classes, your, your professor, your, um, your faculty, staff and student advisor are gonna take you around the city and show you different neighborhoods. Um, you're gonna learn how to use the L, which is what we call the train and buses and get to know resources on campus as well, like the writing center, career center and center for students with disabilities as well. We are also really proud of our uh, career outcomes at DePaul University. Six months after graduation, 91% of our students are employed, continuing their education or exploring other options. It's due in very large part to the fact that all of our students are required to do experiential learning in their junior year. So an internship, a study abroad program, intensive community-based service learning projects, these sorts of things. And because our career center is so active, um, you can meet with a career advisor, you can interview, you can meet with a bunch of our alumni on alumni sharing knowledge, which is kind of our social media for that. Um, if this sounds interesting to you, we'd love to have you apply. You use the common application. There's no application fee. Um, you would send in your high school transcripts and a recommendation from your counselor. We are test optional. We have been for over a decade and we probably always will be. Um, so just feel free to fill out that application. There's no application fee, so there's really nothing to lose. You definitely wanna submit your application by November 15th. It's non-binding early action. All right. So thank you. There are lots of ways to connect with DePaul and there's so much more to tell you than what I've covered here. Such a quick overview. I barely even mentioned the housing options or study abroad or volunteer work or anything that you can do throughout Chicago. I'm super excited that you're here learning more about us and other schools in this session. And I look forward to work with, working with you over the coming year. Make sure to submit any questions you have for me in the Q&A and I will answer them and put my contact info in the chat. That's all for DePaul, thanks. All right, thank you so much. Uh, next up, we have Grinnell College. All 
All right. Um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Peter Hansen. I'm an admission counselor at Grinnell College and also a graduate of Grinnell from the class of 2019. So I'll be talking a little bit from, from both perspectives. Um, if you are unfamiliar with us, um, Grinnell College is a small national residential liberal arts college located in Grinnell, Iowa. A little too fast. Um, uh, the college itself is about 1,700 students. It's all undergraduates. Um, and we are located in Grinnell, Iowa, which is a, a small town of about 10,000 people halfway between um, Iowa's major population centers in Des Moines and Iowa City. Uh, the setting is sort of like picturesque, quaint Midwestern small town. We have a number of amazing restaurants and a modern public library, some great parks. Um, it's very easy to, um, to go between like the town and our, and our close to campus. And I think one thing that's really interesting about Grinnell is that um, even in small town Iowa, our campus and student body is incredibly diverse and draws from folks all over the country and the world. Um, so we are one of the most internationally diverse uh, small liberal arts colleges in the US. All 50 US states, uh, DC and Puerto Rico um, are represented on campus. Over 60 different languages spoken at Grinnell. Um, and we're known um, also as just a very friendly, um, inclusive and welcoming place. When I think about my time as a student and sort of thinking about the people I was with, um, I think I like that everyone is coming to Grinnell very, with very, very different uh, backgrounds and aspirations. Being a liberal arts college, it's common for, for we attract a lot of students who don't know what they want to study yet, um, folks who want to explore, discover what they like and what they don't like. Um, but I think by and large, the people who come are uh, down to earth, don't take themselves too seriously, um, academically driven, but not at all in a competitive way. Um, Grinnell is a very cooperative school. And if you're someone who likes working with others and likes, you know, kind of team projects, Grinnell tends to be a really good fit. And these are some photos of our students and um, the advising relationships that you'll get at Grinnell, which we will talk about in a little bit. This is a picture of a typical kind of Grinnell classroom. As you can see, they're going to be very small. Your classes at Grinnell would be small, discussion-based, all led by a professor, and it's all undergrads. Um, one thing that I think is very unique about Grinnell is that we have an open curriculum. We call it the individually advised curriculum. But what it means essentially on the student side is that um, while you might be used to requirements and you know um, distribution guidelines and say so you have to take a course from this department and this department and this department, um, Grinnell actually has none of that. Um, so uh, no core requirements, no distribution requirements. Um, you have full freedom at Grinnell to take the classes that you'd like to take and, and not take the ones that you don't. Um, it is a very interesting model. For me, it took a lot of getting used to, but I think there are a couple of key benefits. Um, the first is that you have just more time to explore. You have two years before you actually decide on your major. And so uh, that gives people the opportunity to try different departments, see what they like, and then make a really well-informed decision on what they'd like to major in. The second benefit is that when you're in one of these classrooms, um, the only, you only take a class at Grinnell because you actually like the material and the subject, which means that everyone who's in that room has done the reading, they're engaged, they wanna be there. And so it leads to really good discussions, really good energy. It's a totally unique environment that I hadn't experienced um, until I came to Grinnell. And I think one thing that's also common is that as much as you're learning from the professor, you're really learning from um, like your peers as well. I definitely want to talk a little bit about the advising. I think we're known at Grinnell for giving students a lot of freedom and putting a lot of trust placed into them, but we give students just as much advising and support on the flip side. From day one, you're going to have a personal academic advisor, a personal career advisor, and a residential life advisor who will help you out throughout your four years. Um, we also offer a number of different um, mentorship programs and organizations, um, such as the first, uh, the I'm First Club for first gen students, faculty, and staff. Um, this advising is really essential because these are people who will make sure that you're going to graduate on time, that you're exploring different departments, that you're finding a home on campus. Uh, Grinnell is a hard place to kind of fall through the cracks at, and I think it's in no small part because of the advising help that you receive here. Um, in terms of student life, um, I think one benefit of going to college in a small town is that the people who come to the college um, are all coming for that experience. Um, if you're coming to Grinnell, Iowa, it's certainly not for the beaches or for a city, um, as much as our students love going to Des Moines or Iowa City every now and then. And I think that means that people really do tend to get involved. Uh, UBC heavy participation in athletics, uh, community service, and the arts, particularly in theater. And so if you're someone who would like a very you know, campus-centered, involved experience where you're going to get involved in the organizations, um, maybe be on a sports team, but also in a music ensemble, um, Grinnell tends to be a good fit for those students. Um, there are many events uh, throughout the week. I think the number that we always talk about is over 500 events throughout the year, ranging from all-campus parties to concerts, movies being shown in our cinema, different organizations hosting events. 
90% of students live on campus, um, which means that it's common to make friends in your dorm. And the, our campus is pretty close knit. So it's probably no more than a four to five minute walk from your dorms to your classes to the different events you're going through. Um, I want to use my last bit of time to talk a little bit about our admission process. Um, we accept the Common App or the QuestBridge application. Um, there's no fee um, and we are test optional um, for this upcoming year. Um, we're also need blind for domestic students at Grinnell. Um, so when you apply, um, we have no, we uh, cannot access your family's financial information and that will not impact your admission decision. In addition, we also meet the gold standard for financial aid, meaning that um, of course, in addition to being need blind, 100% of our students, uh, or we meet 100% of need um, for, for every single student. And that's done through a mix of merit scholarships, uh, grant aid from Grinnell College, which 86% of students receive, um, and work study. Um, I also wanna note that we have recently gone no loan. So your financial aid package, if you were to be admitted to Grinnell, um, would not include any, any loan component. Um, it looks like I'm getting close to six minutes, so I'm going to wrap up, but um, I'd certainly encourage you to, to check us out and consider applying, and I will put my contact information in the chat. Thank you. All right, thank you. If I could have all the panelists uh, come back on camera uh, in the same order that you presented, please, starting with Colorado College, if you could share with us, what, is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? I would just say, um, Colorado College here, uh, make sure to be interactive with the school, right? Do their virtual interview and their virtual tours and get engaged so that you, re you really have a sense of who they are because now we're so available online, like we've never been before. So take advantage of this time. With Vaughn College, I would suggest visiting the campuses. I think that if you get to see the facilities and similar things like the um, flight simulator lab and the air traffic control lab, uh, you get to see all the different technology that the students get to use on a daily basis. Um, I also think it's very important that you look at the outcomes. So because career services, the career service team plays such a major role on our campus, it's important to make sure that your institution can meet your expectations and help you achieve your goals. I would say just to remember that this whole process is still about you. Um, I certainly think Adelphi is a wonderful school, but I also loved everything my colleagues here have said. Uh, and so all of these are great options. It's really just about what's the best fit for you. Uh, ask questions, uh, think about what it is that you want in your experience, and literally all of us are here to help you. So, so far, everyone has a great answer. Mine would be, um, the school has to be a good fit for you. Do your online research while you can, because uh, you could do so now than before. In addition to that, when selecting a school, even though you have one strong major in mind that you know you want this major and nothing else, also check the other majors that school offers. If you're going to school, let's say for nursing and you that school's great for nursing and a lot of our schools here do have nursing, also find another, another program that they offer because after you take your first biology class and you find out, yeah, I don't like the sight of blood. Nursing's not for me. You know, let me try something else. So make sure when you're looking at the unit of college, they, it's not just for that one major, but other programs that you might be interested in. Because you find out like nursing's not for you and that's the only reason you went there. So you gotta reevaluate why you're there. So please right now think about other majors besides nursing that you're interested in that the university or the college has when you make your decision. Hi, from DePaul again. Um, I would say apply far and wide, especially if there's no application fee, there's really no downside to applying. And don't get scared off by like sticker shock by prices because you never know what the financial aid you're going to get, especially if you're automatically considered for scholarship like at DePaul as well. Um, so yeah, apply far and wide. Uh, give yourself a lot of options come the fall when it's time to commit. Uh, Peter from Grinnell here. I, I definitely think that um, my best advice is that if you find a place where you're going to be comfortable and you feel at home, 
um, all the things that make college special, like getting involved and making friends and like exploring um, different classes, all of that will come easier. So I, I really encourage you to, um, like my colleagues have said, you know, do your research, attend the virtual events, visit if you can, and then make a decision where you feel like you can feel at home from day one. All right, great advice from our experts, our panelists. The one last plug I like to to give is please contact these folks if you have any interest at all. Uh, this is what they do. This is their job. They are here to find out if it is a good fit for you. So please take down that contact information and reach out. If you are here with us live, when you leave, there is a four question survey that will appear. Uh, this is the last evening for this particular virtual fair, but there will be more in the future. So stay tuned and a recording of this will be available at StriveScan's website. I threw that exact link into the chat as well. Best of luck to the students, the parents out there. Thank you so much to our panelists, our experts. And with that, stay safe, stay well, and have a good evening.